and there she is the beauty the vessel the brand new addition to Hudson Yard brand new day here in New York City hey what's happening everyone welcome back to a brand new episode from New York like I just mentioned it's colder than yesterday minus 9 Celsius so right now doing a little bit of walk going through Central Park in order to uh, go at a couple of museums here the Metropolitan and the Natural History Museum and then gonna go south downtown and uh, go at the vessel and explore a few more other things but in the meantime this is how the neighborhood looks like at 87th street where i'm staying in manhattan let me do the big wide lens you know kind of typical pretty much what you would see in brooklyn as well and a few other places yeah we still have snow on the ground but at least it's not windy as it was uh, yesterday but if you have not seen the previous two episodes definitely go and check it out some outstanding views all throughout from new york city went to the top of the rock went to the empire state went to the liberty island to see the lady of liberty and now continuing the last day here well I have quite a bit of uh, time tomorrow as well because my flight to Romania does not leave until 7 and hopefully they'll let me board. Uh, we'll see, it's gonna be a little risky what I'm doing here, but uh, yeah, anyway, let's uh, continue on with the day. And here we have it, the Metropolitan Museum or the Met, what it's typically called here in New York City. It's amazing, man. I haven't been filming anything just because my hand Man, I'm telling you, my fingers, they've been through some pain the last couple of days. And officially inside the Met. This is how the entrance looks like. A quick glance at ancient Egypt. Pretty much just gonna walk around. If I see anything interesting, I'll point it out. It's just a good way to get warmed up here in the winter in New York City to visit the museums. So very very similar like the Temple of the Dodd in Madrid. Here we have the Temple of Dendur. Another gift by the Egyptian people to the Americans, the same way the boat was gifted to the Spaniards. The American wing, check this out, looks pretty cool. Just the way everything is organized. This section is fully dedicated to armor. Check this out. There is literally so much to see here at the museum at times. You're just gonna be overwhelmed. I mean, you don't know where to stop, how much time you should spend. But uh, yeah, it's uh, quite the deal. So as many things as you have to see at the Met, might as well spend some time on the streets of New York City. Got another museum anyway, so uh, yeah. Plus, uh, you know, you can get lost. I mean, you can waste uh, quite a bit of time. Not literally waste, because you see a lot of stuff. But I mean, opportunity costs. You know, in order to see other stuff, it's definitely you know, if you came to New York multiple times, yeah, you can kind of spend more time there. But kind of go in, check it out a little bit, and then you know, kind of prioritize based on what you like. I enjoy more seeing the streets, seeing the life in New York City, but also the museums, you know, being one of the most famous museums in the world. It's pretty cool right here. But yeah, let's continue on with the exploration of New York City the last full day here. 
Do you need another reminder of how cold it is in New York City? Well, this will tell you pretty much it. Man. Don't get fooled by the sun. And from one museum to the other, made it to the Natural History Museum. A few movies have been filmed here. I believe uh, Night of the Museum was kind of based on this museum. Might be wrong, always wrong. But uh, yeah, let's go inside. Hopefully I can film a little bit. Previously at the Met, I was told like three times stop filming, but uh, yeah. Well, it looks like I can't get into the museum because you gotta do a reservation for whatever reason. I was not aware when I bought the city pass that that's the case, but uh, yeah, just did it right now. I tried to do a reservation for today. Everything is completely booked, so uh, no natural history museum. But uh, yeah, let's go on and explore New York City. Has plenty of stuff to do. So although I walked a couple of times through Central Park, almost forgot to film in Central Park because it's so damn freezing cold. I was going straight ahead. I crossed it once to go to the first museum, to the Met, and then I came back, crossed it again, but always forgot to pull out my phone to show you the iconic Central Park here, guys. Whole bunch of ducks. Not sure what building this is, but just uh, went in and got a uh, little bit of heat and noticed the stairways. So yeah, right now at Hudson Yard, going towards the vessel. And there she is, the beauty, the vessel, the brand new addition to Hudson Yard. Man, the concept is just outstanding. So not sure 100% if I can go in because uh, supposedly there were four suicides last year and uh, the owner decided to close it down but man what a beauty let's go and take some photos it's so damn windy here by the bay guys but check out the views and a little bit of sun a little bit too close to the vessel that way I can't see the whole thing even though it's all white Superb. And inside the vessel at the bottom again cannot go up anymore, but Superb nonetheless, it's a beauty. And the vessel from underneath. Man, this is so, so cool. I bet it looks really cool at night too. Definitely not coming at night as well. Man, it's super, super windy here in the Hudson Yard. I mean, it's, oh, I cannot describe it. You know, again, super, super glad that I got the jacket because it would have been tough bunch of other cool buildings here at Hudson Yard I mean this area looks extremely extremely modern I think you know it's one of the newest area in New York City you know at scale like pretty much everything that has been constructed here is top-notch futuristic and so on and the event of the night Madison Square Garden By far probably the most famous sports arena in the world When I mentioned there in the previous episode something I haven't done for over 10 years This is it going to an NBA game and what better place to relive it than at MSG
early life. What so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. putting an end to this episode from new york city back at the hotel here on 87th street hopefully you guys enjoyed it let me do actually a really quick tour view of the small small room here in new york city this is pretty much what a hundred dollars will get you here in upper manhattan but uh, yeah i mean january 100 bucks, two people, not that bad. But yeah, once again, thank you for tuning in. If you have made it so far into the episode, definitely give it a like, share, subscribe, whatever you think this video deserves. And like always, gratitude should be the only attitude. Have a humble 2022 with great achievements. Till next time. Peace out, guys. Can we talk about, can we talk about the truth? I wanna know, know. I wanna know. Can we talk about, can we talk about me and you? Can we talk about, can we talk about me and you? Can we talk about, can we talk about the truth? I wanna know, know, I wanna know Can we talk about, can we talk about